Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Neverwinter Nights by the Paladin Maestro Mar Malcolm Maestro Erickson has ventured into some unknown crypt on the Leaf Troll Caves where he's hoping to find something. Can't remember quite what it is. Well, I know what I'm looking for, but that's not the point. For crying out loud, let him check for traps first. It's not that damn difficult. Would you stop doing that, Tommy, please? Okay, okay. I mean, really. That's not why I hired you. Don't have any more restoration scrolls. Alright, fine. Can I get out of here? Not while I'm dazed, of course not. Alright, Nurik. Hey, I'll tell you. I need healing. And as long as I'm here, I'm gonna go to the shop. Because I'm getting very close to the weight limit. Yeah, I hate drain traps. They're so darn effective. Or I'm pick always picking the wrong class to use against them. Alright, so well, I don't need the helmet. Alright, can sell that. You are in the wrong bag. Uh, what is this? Greater gloves of swordplay. Well, I don't parry much, so not that useful for me. And this is probably... Belt of sh uh, Sasha Shimmering. Yeah, I don't need that. Armor of Comfort, that much I suspected. This is a Shield to Watch. Well... No. <coughs> Not fighting that many humans. And that's a Sorcerer Helmet. Mm, those are quite rare. Yeah, I've never really seen much uh, Sorcerer equipment. Speci specifically sorcerer equipment, because there's a lot of overlap with other classes. Alright. Uh, don't think I have anything else that is of any immediate... Well, let's get rid of the arrows that I don't need. And the bullets, if I can find them. Uh, I don't need the golden circlet. Uh, mind affecting spells? Nah, nah. More arrows of the vampire, piercing arrows. Armor oh, that I can't identify. Rope of fire resistance. You're neat, but not for me. Right, and my bag is filling up with lots of useless crap. I probably should start getting rid of some of it. But I can't for the life of me <coughs> remember which is important and what is it? <coughs> <coughs> and that's only gonna get worse as I keep going. Alright, let's get rid of the spells I can't cast anyway. Alright. And that should be enough for now.
not a good night's rest, and that should be over, but... Don't feel like waiting, let's just kill some Minigons. I mean, the loot box is kind of neat. A little bit too high tech, for the period, but... Again, we are intruding upon the lair of a race of creatures that had technology way beyond what's currently available. Which always seems a little bit weird. I mean, why would technology like that suddenly be lost? It's not like it immediately stopped working because some element was missing. Battle horror and some gargoyles that want to play. Just hit it already. Not me, it. Darn it. It's very hard, very damn hard. And it's a construct, so by, by definition, it's true. Good. Luckily, gargoyles are not that difficult. And the primary sword component building fantastic weapons and armor. Well, both the armor, but... Stand still so I can hit you! <coughs> Doesn't hurt to take one, uh, one skull with you, at least. Don't I already have a skull? Yeah. Right, full blade and not a great sword. That's probably trapped. Tommy says no. Golem Signet Ring. The signet Ring of the so-called creator of a race. Golems guarding the deeper passages in the script, which the sun have demanded it. Well, very good then. I'll take it with me. Don't think they'd drop anything besides their skulls. Because that's the only part of a, a gargoyle that survives when you kill it. Their skulls. Well, as long as the skulls don't start talking, that's fine. And if they do start talking, I'll just call them Murray. Now. Which of these guys wants to dance? Alright. First to dance, first to die. Yeah, I'm really not worried about gargoyles. I love this part! Such a minor threat at this point. Still ten uh, experience points. Could be worse. Okay, okay. No, I suppose the others will come to life as soon as I start to leave or open the chest. Ah, uh, it's done. 
Well, something came to life. Now you're just seeing the Minigun on the other side, alright. Stop that. Just come with me. Let's see where all these other roads go. I love this part! That's annoying. Luckily it's just days where it's done, but... And they're too fat to fit for the door. I'm always a little bit curious about technology in these games. Because they never seem to be able to progress much beyond uh, medieval technology. Though there's not really any force holding uh, people back from discovering stuff. You know, beyond uh, the people who actually write the lore for the for the, the stuff. I guess it just makes a better story that people always live with swords and such. I guess firearms do take out the romance in such stories, perhaps. And I wish these bags had one more point of access. I do have a potion of lore. I thought I'd should look better next time. Oh well. That'll give people something to scream about in the uh, in the comments. Uh, let's just deal with these guys. I love this part. That's annoying. Open the door. That's not what I wanted to do either. Where are you going? Well, screw it, I'm not going after you then. I've got Tommy to save. Traps. Yeah, there's definitely a trap on that. Ah, uh, it's done. Ah, uh, it's done. Just some gold. That's a pity. I was kind of hoping for some more fantastical loot. I've got gold. Anything I pick up becomes gold automatically, so that's not really the most interesting bit of stuff that I can pick up. Let's go find that minigun. I think he went this way. Don't know why he was running, but... No, he's not over here. Hmm, must have gone through all the other gargoyles then. Where would you have gone? Oh, there he is, I think. Is that him? That can't have been him. There's no way for me to get over there, so... 
I've kind of been him. There he is. A most helpable touch. No, you juicy bit of experience. You're not leaving. Well, I say juicy. It's 19 experience points, but you get the point. And none of the other gargoyles decided to wake up. Well, that's fine. I don't need any more skulls anyway. I don't think finding any more gargoyle skulls at this point is really that, a pro that much of a problem. And they're heavy, so I don't want to lug that, lug, lug that many around. <coughs> did I check this level? Yes, I did. Alright. Let's continue this old conversation. What are you saying? It's the first seal, I need to get through. Here is the ring. Way pass. Yay! Minigons! Yay! <laughs> yeah, you're fighting me. Focus on me. this beast. Ha! I built minicons though. That can hardly be the most efficient design. I mean, if you wanted to look scary, then Built some sort of demonic looking creature. Oops. I mean, those things are very designed to be scary. Ah, uh, it's done! I mean, select like Minicle, not a formidable either. I guess formidable enough. I don't know. It just seems a little bit odd to choose that. Alright. There's a chest already around the corner. Here comes Halfling Death! Yeah, but uh, that we're not gonna indulge in that for the moment. Okay, I need you to get this trap off. Ah, uh, it's done. Okay, Lock it, please. Right. How about I open the door? Okay, turkey. drop something useful as well as their access, but so it just looks like they don't. Looks like okay, they don't. Okay. Well, there's probably another guardian over here, or gargoyles. Ah, uh, it's done! Here, fill up. Uh, I need to have it in my inventory and then I can give it to you. Alright, so what do you want? I have a ring here. Go ask to class at turf. I am the guardian of the second seal. None may pass. You must speak the password in the master's tongue. I must get through the second seal. None may pass. You must speak the password in the master's tongue. 
All right. I'll go find a tongue of the masters then. Or possibly just a piece of written language. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.